Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Disney and desperation and uh, what are they doing? They're, there's word that they're looking to potentially buy a video game company like Electronic Arts. Okay. I thought they got rid of video companies. They video did. Companies. They did. They actually shut down the uh, the studio that made Disney Infinity. They own that one. They shut it down saying at the time, this was Bob Iger. This was 2016. They said that, uh, you know, it made more sense for them just to outsource their games, their Star Wars games and everything that did for them to make their own games. Well, I think they got some stuff when they got Fox, too, and they sold that off. And I remember not long after that, they were actually having these seminars with all these different game developers and being like, here's our catalog. Use whatever you'd like. Just get, you know, you pitch us ideas and we'll see. And basically their idea was everybody else can create it. Everybody else can have the expense and overhead, but we'll get the licensing fees. And now apparently they think they, they want to go back to doing all that again, I guess. Yeah, I think this is because uh, their movies aren't doing as well as they'd hoped. I think it's everybody's the, playing games. That's why our video, our movies aren't doing well. It's not exactly. because they suck. Exactly. And uh, I'm sure if Disney gets involved in making video games, that's not going to be a disaster at all. Because that's video game be shows and movies like, you know, Super Mario Brothers and Last of Us are doing really, really good. So we need to pivot to video games. What no, do we got? That's exactly. That's exactly what they're going to do. They're, they're probably looking at like, yeah, if we only had a game company uh, again, you know, after we shut one down, yeah, if we only had a game company again, we could we could milk those IP. Well, the Dreamlight Valley game is doing really well. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about some of their games, uh, mobile games. Uh, Marvel Snap, I guess, is doing really well. But even though it's doing well, ByteDance, the company that uh, owns the company that makes the game, is laying a bunch of people off in that division. So, I mean, game companies are doing very, very well, including Epic are laying people off. So I'm like, I don't know why Disney is choosing now to get into this. I'm like, <laughs> dumb they're just dumb it's it's i mean literally bob Iger is like the biggest boomer on the planet i'm just like at this point again just send us a fraction of the money you're going to spend we'll tell you no kick you in the balls and we'll call it a day yeah and we can save so much hassle for so many people oh my god same outcome let's uh let's talk about this let's talk about the potential of disney getting back into video games uh themselves before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys get woohoo if you do woohoo so I think before we talk about the video games, let's go out and talk about some of their other uh, weird decisions. As of been, late. Yeah. As of late. Yeah. So. So, OK. So we talked before about how Disney was talking about selling their hot star, Disney Plus hot star, which is their Indian Disney Plus to Reliance. Well, now it sounds like they're not going to sell it to Reliance. Exactly. They're going to make a merger. And this is a, this is a rumor. They don't they haven't it hasn't been confirmed. But the rumor is that they're going to work together, That, but Reliance will end up with 51% for a cash infusion, and Disney will have 49% of the Indian um, hot star. So it's funny because uh, Reliance is the one who got all the cricket league stuff yeah, yeah. and all that soccer yeah. stuff and that. They, they were the ones that got all that and took it from Disney. So now they're going to supposedly give Disney a shit ton of money. Uh, and then work together that they will own more than half of Disney Plus Hotstar. Now, the thing I don't understand, and I, the only reason I could think Disney's agreeing to this, not just selling it outright, because they get a lot more money to sell it outright, because they have 40, over 40 million subscribers okay. on the Hotstar India, you know, Disney Plus. Right. If they would sell it outright, they would lose 40 million subscribers in a, you know, gone. Okay. It, yeah, like a quarter, company. and then they would have to report that to investors, right. and they're gonna be like, "Oh my god!" And this way, the other people are, are, are you know, having to be responsible and making up some of the money and the deficit, and then they don't have to lose the subscribers, so they can still report those. But the ARPU on, um, I know the word ARPU is like a, you know, a shit ton of ARPU. Yeah, um, that's basically you know, average price. Was it ARPU average? Rate per unit. Per, yeah, per okay. user. Basically what each user is worth. Yeah, unit or user them. in this yeah. case. So when it comes to this, when you hear them talk about it during their investor calls, they say, oh, it's six dollars and like 70 cents per customer is what they're making um on the subscriptions. Except they always exclude India because they're only making like 59 to 60 cents a person over there. Yeah. So they, I'm just like, the only reason I can possibly think they aren't offloading it is because the subscriber hit. Because and then, they're still using those numbers to get advertisers, and the higher the number, even if they're not running ads on those platforms, the more it looks like these people are going to get, the higher, the more they'll pay. Because otherwise, it's not worth keeping. It's such a drain. It's really not worth keeping. That's why they're going to sell it. And now all of a sudden, oh, no, no, we're keeping, like, 
Forty-nine percent of it, probably. Yeah, they're they don't want the numbers to drop. That's exactly and what I think is that, going on. Because uh, again, you've got you know Nelson Peltz hovering, and they don't want those numbers. So they to don't drop. get the numbers to drop, and they get a bunch of money for the other company to come and and take the controlling share and and half the headaches. Yes. So you know, personally, I would just sold the damn thing altogether. But that's why I, I bet you money that's why because they don't want to take a forty million subscriber cut. Yeah, so the, the, they've got that going on, and now they're wielding and dealing with uh, Netflix, too. Yeah, which is always weird to me, because Grey's Anatomy was on Netflix and not Disney when it's an ABC show, but that must have been a deal they had pre-existing before Disney+, Plus. I'm kind, guessing. Kind of like Friends, I yeah. Think. yeah. So now they worked out a deal with Netflix. I'm explaining all this because Neon doesn't know what's going on with it. I, I don't even more. watch Grey's Anatomy. Um, I, I have no idea what's going apparently on. Apparently, it's really popular still. I don't get that. But it's been on for like so 500 years. They worked out a deal with Netflix that... Disney, well, Hulu and then the Disney Plus in one app are going to have the whole catalog of Grey's Anatomy up to the current season on ABC. Okay, so they'll get to run all that on Hulu in exchange or as part of the deal. Then Netflix gets 14 shows from Disney that they can run on their platform, including like Home Improvement. And uh, there's a whole list. I wonder years a new one. This is us, my wife and kids. Um, Archer. Yeah, Archer, the resident Lost. white collar. Reba, How I Met Your Mother, Prison Break. The Hughleys, I don't know what that is. Bernie Mac. The Hughleys. The Hughleys. Hughleys. Yeah, it was a sitcom. Hughleys. Yeah. I don't know who the hell they are. Anyway, <laughs> don't care. Well, they don't know who you are That's either. That's okay. It's probably true. <laughs> so they're, Hughley, they're yeah. going over to, they're going to be on Netflix and I guess, still Disney Plus too, I'm sure, or Hulu. But uh, they're non-exclusive agreements so that other, they have other third parties that already have deals and licensing in place. They get to keep licensing too. But it's an 18-month deal. So now what they're doing is they're making deals with their competitors because, you know, if people, they might only like say, okay, if I want to watch Grey's Anatomy and I already have a Disney plus Hulu subscription, well, then I might not keep my Netflix or vice versa because I can watch it over there, but then they still make money probably for licensing it out. So they get paid either way, even if you might say, well, I'm just going to cancel because I still can watch it here. Uh, th this kind of goes, this kind of goes with, um, you know, I, what I was talking about before, um, another video that all these streaming companies are making deals with each other and we're basically going back to cable. I know. What's the They're point? Bundling. It was like, what's the point of having separate services if you're all going to just share content? But uh, anyway, let's go back to video games. So they're, they're basically desperate. Like we're painting a picture for you here. Disney is desperate. All the stuff that they're like, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to have our own streaming service. Um, we're going to, you know, we're going to sell off India to make some money, whatever. Now they're like backpedaling all, all stuff. So it makes sense for them to backpedal on video games as well. I think it's just because most popular stuff right now are usually video game related. And they're like, shit. Yeah. Um, so this is coming from Axios. They said Disney is just starting when it comes to pairing its top franchises with the industry's best game development studios. Uh, but they're talking about buying, buying a company. They said that, you know, Spider-Man 2 was a big hit. Marvel Snap was a big hit. But Marvel Snap, uh, the company that makes that, just laid a whole bunch of people off. So it's it's supposedly popular, but it's another shitty mobile app that could just get going tomorrow. But they said a recent report from Bloomberg suggested a potential strategic shift with some Disney brass supposedly pressing Bob Iger to buy a gaming giant like Electronic Arts maker of uh, the Madden games and the Sims. Oh God. Well, basically dream. My oh, Valley God. is the Sims. Yeah. Well, could you, Oh my God. Could you imagine if Disney got a hold of the Sims and they made like Sims movies? It would. Diz Sims. It, it, they'd cringe it up. It would be like, it'd be like a Disney channel. Right, well, Sims can't something. be pretty cringy now, but yeah. Yeah. So what they're saying, there's a lot of conversation around Disney should do this and should do that. They said, uh, he cited recent hit video games made with Disney's current external development approach including EA's acclaimed Star Wars Jedi Survivor and Disney Dreamlight Valley. Mm -hmm. It's just not as easy to say that, hey, well, Disney could do that in-house. Yeah, um, it's not that easy. Just It's not easy. Just an easy assumption to say. It's true. It you is can't true. can't just do it because, you know, and then plus there's like, the, there's a whole situation too. Some of these companies have, you know, software, things that they're using to develop it that Disney doesn't own. Yeah, and they've gotten in lawsuits, you know, before. Proprietary I mean, stuff. Proprietary stuff. And they did leave internal game publishing in 2016, but they've done this before. They're like, oh, we're not going to do this or that. We're not going to publish comic books. Oh, let's buy Marvel Comics and publish comic books. I think it's a dumb <laughs> idea. I think it's a really dumb idea. I think it's it's easier to just have these other companies uh, take the risk. I mean, if you're licensing stuff out. but you Which know, is why they did it in the first place. Yeah. Because they don't have the risk. They just they just get the licensing fee. Somebody else can pay them 
the fail. But I'm with succeed. you. I'm with you though. Like they could look at that and be like, well, EA has all this IP or whatever that we can make movies out of. And, you know, um, I don't think they really have a lot of stuff they can make movies out of. God, EA really doesn't have a lot. I mean, I'm sitting there thinking like, there are a lot of other companies you can go for. EA wouldn't be the one I would choose personally. Yeah. So they're just talking about how they have different deals and whatever. Cause there is a lot of talk about them buying another company. I don't think they have, I don't think they have the money. Yeah. Well, they don't... have the money, but I don't think they, do they though? Do they really have them? Because they're know. just like they're announcing these new, you know, communities they're building. They're announcing they're over oh, doubling our expenditure of the parks. They are having to pay Hulu, and it's probably they paid for Hulu, but it might be more than that. You know, they turn around and said they're not selling ABC. They're not. They're apparently not supposedly selling off Disney Plus Hot Star except for a cash infusion, which probably needs just to keep the thing going. I just don't think they have the extra money to to do it. I mean. No, but they're bringing up, too, that uh, Disney's had partnerships that did not work out. Like, they're talking about the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. You know, that was, it was a good game. It was it was hit with the um, the Avengers being god-awful Yeah. Uh, at first. And they, you know, wound up selling that division off. Square sold Crystal Dynamics off, and they shut the game down, you know? And, that's what I'm uh, saying. Like, here, if you got a great IP, you still got a great, great story, but it's still a challenge. And that's where I think it's at. It's like, it's so much easier. You have the IP. You have mm -hmm. a story. You could just license it to somebody else and let them take all the risk. Yeah, and that's what they do with comics. And that's why I think that eventually you know, Marvel Comics will be published by other publishers. I think eventually Disney will just be like, why do we have this publishing arm open when we're not making any money on these books, really? We have to deal with these idiots on Twitter. And we could just like have Dark Horse do our Marvel Comics for us and we'll just kind of oversee them. Like they do with all the other Disney stuff. But there's there's been chatter about them buying EA, and uh, I hope to God they don't. But EA is kind of a dumpster fire. I just don't think it makes sense. Like, do I think that Disney would do something stupid? Yeah, I do because Disney's full of shit. But <laughs> um, do I, does it make sense? Not really. It really doesn't. It's like if you if you don't need to have a game company, you can still get the benefits because you can make a deal with a, a gaming company, right? You yeah. can license out the IP. You can license out the story. We're going to have oversight of the story and everything else. But we retain the rights that if a movie gets made, you know, for a percentage because they're going to the work, you get a, you know, you can be in on it. But we get to, you know, we want to make a movie of it. We can. They can do that. Even if they bought a gaming studio this this year, like, well, 2024. So they get it through until they get all that stuff taken care of. Until they get anything out, it's going to take years. So why bother? Oh, my God. Triple A titles. This is one thing I, I talk about on the, the gaming channel a lot. Is a triple A title takes like ten to fifteen years. That's what I'm saying. To, just, to get a damn had, game out, sometimes it's ridiculous. Years ago. Yeah, yeah, and um, but a lot of people want uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, yes. and it was apparently with Aspire, which used to just port games, but now they're supposedly doing a whole remake. But then it's supposedly dead in the water. But then this guy did this discussion about Disney's uh, gaming stuff, the shop tower. And, um, he said that, you know, apparently there's a lot of interest. And so then people, there are kind is of, a lot of interest. people are kind of putting pieces together and being like, okay, well, would they just move it over to EA because they did other star Wars games that sold well and take it from Aspire or well, what? Well, they took it from Aspire. They'd have to rebuild it because whatever they've done, you can't just take, you know, you're licensed the game, but they did their own work. You know what I mean? They, yeah. they not the original game obviously belongs to whoever, you know, Disney probably, but, like, if Aspire did work on this game already, they can't just take it. No, no, they wouldn't take that. I don't think they would take it. They'd have the to start all over again, which means over. it's going to take a lot longer. Yeah, well, people wanted what they wanted and what they're they're talking about getting are two different things. Originally, mm -hmm. they just wanted a one-to-one -one remake of the original title from back in the day. Then they were talking that it was going to be a complete rebuild and it was going to have, like, modern sensibilities. And they were going well, to make it. If it was a one-to-one, -one, they probably could do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't understand why when they make remakes, they just don't do one to one. Like you look at Mario RPG and people love it because it's basically a one to one remake. Um, Final Fantasy was really dodgy with seven because everybody thought it was going to be a, a, a high definition remake of Final Fantasy seven. They're like, no, we're going to take the story in a totally different direction. And when everybody say that run. <sighs> Whenever I say totally different direction, yeah. modern audiences. Uh, you run. Well, what they're talking about now, the rumors I had heard was that they were going to take this very beloved classic uh, Star Wars game and make it fit within the High Republic time period. Oh, the High Republic. You know, per Disney. So I don't think I don't think we're ever going to get a straight up one to one. Now, you can still play this game 
I think the Switch, they have it on the Switch now. They have like a classics bundle out there. They have it on iPad. You know, you can you can play the original version of it. But um, yeah, as far as them like remaking it and and, and uh, staying true to the original, I, I don't see that happening. I think they're going to tinker with it. Disney is kind of its own worst enemy when it comes to this this stuff. But um, that's it. That's the rumor. People are saying that they're looking at buying EA. This other guy's like, well, they could, but that would be kind of dumb. Mm -hmm. I'm more um, of the other guy. I mean, it's just a rumor. It's just a rumor, but, but... Th but then Disney, if there's a way to shoot yourself in the foot and, and, and look like a dumbass and lose money, Disney seems to find it every time. Oh, I could absolutely see them because they're going to chase the chuck wagon. Like you said, they're going to look at everything else and be like, well, superheroes are dead. Let's do video games. D does EA have anything worth uh, turning into a franchise? Or, Well, no, not really, but it's a big game company and they sell a lot of stuff. Stuff. So yeah, there we'll, we'll I mean, do there's Sims other movies. places too they could go with, but yeah. Oh God, I don't know. I don't know, guys. There it is. Gonna wrap this up. Yeah. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.